Hello everybody, in this video I will talk with you about 9 ways about how to evaluate the price of an eBay store. It doesn't matter if you sell your eBay store or if you want to buy another eBay store. So there are 9 main rules that you should follow when you buy or sell eBay store to evaluate the right price for the store and to not make any mistakes. The first thing is that you should know that the prices are uh, starting. The easiest way to understand the right price for eBay store is by amount of feedbacks. So the first and the most basic way is to check the number of feedbacks and multiply it between 50 cents to $1 per feedback. Now, it depends on the number of feedbacks. If the store has 10,000 feedbacks, it doesn't matter that the store worth $10,000 because it's in some point it doesn't really matter how many feedbacks it has so i recommend you for stores about up to 1000 feedbacks it will cost around 0.8 dollar per feedback it's a, a good price and from there you just need to talk with the seller or with the buyer and understand the right price for both of you the second thing is the amount of limits as many feedbacks as much more feedbacks the store has it costs more money because it takes time to increase the feedbacks the limits i recommend you to check the amount of limits and if it has around one million dollars which is the maximum and actually the best uh, amount of limits in dollars that you will get from ebay store that you buy so it, this is the best uh, situation if you can ask for the seller to increase the, the limits it will be great for you and it can also incre increase the price so if you're on the other side if you sell your store just try to increase the limits as much as possible because it will increase the uh, price of your store the third thing is that you should check if there are any opened cases because if there will be any opened cases you should pay for these cases and return money to your buyers so when you buy an account make sure that you check that all of the cases are closed before you buy it will save you head cash and it will save you money defects rate make sure that the defect rate is really low because you don't want uh, to get a store with a huge defect rate because it can bring you to below standard and actually this is the next point you should check that the store is not below standard and that the store is above standard Tracking numbers, updates on time, plus late shipment, shipment rate. This is also will affect, affect the below standard uh, status that you don't want to get. So make sure that the store doesn't have uh, any below standard status or it also not close to it. Make sure that the next evaluation will not also bring you to this status. The next four things. Age of the store. If the store is older like a few years older it will increase the price of the store because it means that ebay already knows this store and they will not block this store very fast so this is something which is very important previous suspensions check the messages of the store that you are getting and verify that it doesn't has uh, it doesn't have a lot of previous suspensions because if it has it means that the next suspension that you will get will be not for 7 days for example, it can be for 30 days. So you should verify that the store didn't have any suspensions for a, a period of time. And even if it has, it's fine. Just you can uh, talk with the seller and compromise on this on the price. You can decrease a bit the price of the store because of these suspensions. The next thing is that Actually, this is one of the most critical things is the pending bill to eBay and previous fees. You should verify that the store doesn't have a lot of uh, previous fees to eBay because you will pay these fees. So first tell to the seller to clean these fees, to pay all of the fees, all of the bills to eBay before you buy the account. You don't want to buy account with fees or any pending bills. And the last and the next thing, this is also one of the most important things is the linked accounts make sure that the store that you buy doesn't have any linked accounts why because if the seller is selling the uh, other account to someone else who doesn't know how to work on ebay and his account will be suspended your account will be also suspended so i really recommend you to call ebay and ask them hey ebay does this account account has any other linked accounts 
For sure, don't say to eBay that you want to buy this account, just ask them this question. I hope that this video helps you. If you do any other things that you check when you sell or buy eBay account, write down in the comments. Don't for forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. Bye-bye.